today's Creative Spirit Gathering is all about self-care. And today we're talking about emotional self-care. So self-care of the mind. Part of caring for the mind is allowing ourselves to be authentic. Brené Brown is a big fan of that word authenticity and also a big fan of the word vulnerability, which can require a bit of bravery on our part to acknowledge all aspects of ourselves and to accept them without judgment, without shame, without guilt, as parts of our wholeness. So today, as we're diving into emotional self-care, we're going to be looking at emotions from the perspective of wholeness and non-judgment. And that does require a little bit of bravery on our part, um, especially if we have uh, been trained by ourselves or by the world around us uh, to label emotions, you know, some that are acceptable, some that we might consider unacceptable for sharing with others. And that can be a little tricky sometimes. And, and when we don't then acknowledge all aspects of our being, all of our emotions, and we try to like stuff them down, like shove them in a closet somewhere and close the door, lock it up and ignore them, essentially, uh, we're not being true to our whole selves. With our art journals, um, one of the great things is we get to process life. And it's such a safe place of processing um, what's coming up for us so that we can be present with it and then move forward, right? We don't have to stay in it. I tend to focus on the positive in life and I tend to um, look for, you know, even in the, you know, that the dark sky kind of thing, looking for the silver lining, making an awareness of um, the wholeness in things. But sometimes that means in my life, I have glossed over those feelings that are uncomfortable um, and kind of stuffed them in my closet a little bit. And so when things would show up for me, even in my journals, sometimes there was resistance. This was the first time that this red showed up in my journal. And I have to tell you, it was like, I put it down like in this, um, just intuitive moment, right? I was just kind of spreading paint around on the page and this red showed up and it made me so uncomfortable, so uncomfortable because I associate red and even the way this mark showed up, I was like, it felt angry. And, and at the time I was like, I'm not angry. What am I angry about? And like, I literally from myself tried to hide this page. Have you ever done something like that? Are you aware of a time maybe where you're like, oh no, no, I don't feel that, you know? And we try to hide it from ourselves. Um, because again, it's like this um, old train of thought that says some feelings are good feelings, some feelings are bad feelings, some are okay to express and some are not okay to express. And again, the truth is, and what I've learned um, through years of, of practicing presencing my emotions and practicing um, art journaling is that I can be present to an emotion and recognize this is just an aspect of, of being human. This is one of many ways of just feeling human in the world and just presence it for a little while and then I can continue on. Sometimes it takes presencing it and working through, you know, okay, so this image came up and it makes me think about anger. Am I angry? You know, I can just sit with it and reflect on the page, ask myself some questions and just presence it without judgment. I want to share with you um, a quote from Matthew Fox. This is in uh, the book Creativity. And he writes, creativity comes from our joys and sorrows. The universe brings with it great joys and great sorrows, deep heart experiences such as joy, delight, and ecstasy on the one hand, and grief, sadness, and loss on the other, triggering creativity in us. The mystics call these experiences the via positiva, via positiva, the joy, 
and the via negativa, the suffering. The universe gifts us with abundance, both of these. Right? We're gifted the joys and the sorrows in abundance, and they're integral to our living, provided we choose to live deeply from the inside out and not to live vicariously or superficially from the outside only or numb our life experiences. So today in our journals, I'm going to invite you to simply presence and express both aspects. The via positiva, the via negativa, both aspects of being those emotional scales, if you will. When I did this project a while back, I did this in terms of um, first, the sunny side, right? Like putting on your sunny side mask and what does, what words, what things do you associate with that sunny side mask? Looking at this in terms of joy and aspects of joy, what words come forward for you? What imagery comes forward for you? And on the back side of that page, I made, this was supposed to be like a little box <laughs> or a dark room, so that, but I wanna be able to still see the words um, as I was intentionally doing this with lots of words. So I did sort of a little bit to indicate some darkness, like this was a darker space that didn't see the light very often. And so it needed a little candle so I could even be aware of what's in this room. What are some of the things in here? Angry, secret, fear. Again, we don't need to set up camp. <laughs> so when we're doing this project today, I invite you to set a timer for yourself. So we'll do 15 minutes on the joy, 15 minutes on sorrow, or you could call it light and dark, uh, what's visible, what's hidden, just presencing these different emotions for a moment. And then we'll spend the remainder of the time just in reflection. So you'll have that time for yourself to just reflect on what came up, how did you feel about that. So allow your body to simply rest where it is. I invite you, if you haven't already done so, to close your outer eyes. Bring your awareness to the point on your forehead, right between your eyes, the seat of the third eye. And just bring your focus there not trying to control anything or change anything. Just simply presencing this point of your body. And we'll just spend a couple moments just breathing in and exhaling. Using the third eye as a center point to bring our awareness back to presence. as we simply rest for a moment of silence. Breathing in, breathing out in silence. I am present. I am open. I am willing to explore all aspects of my truth, of my being, of my humanity. And so it is. Spirit is present with us and guiding us as we move through our practice today. So I invite you to turn now to your journal and allow your journal to be an extension of the meditation practice. Processing and presencing all aspects of being. Being brave on the page. It's time for us to wrap up and I thank each of you for being here today. Um, and I'd like to invite you to share um, 
your expression through your tithes and gifts and we hold those thoughts of tithes in our in our minds and in our hearts uh, knowing and blessing and affirming those gifts that come forward to bless unity arts ministry moving forward and we'll share our um, donate screen and um, we have our give button uh, location down at the bottom here and that's at unityartsministry.org slash give thank you again uh, for your support and thank you for being here today till next time bye <laughs>